Hello everybody, what is up? It is Savannah and today we are going to be checking out a demo called Wrestling with Emotions New Kid on the Block. This is a demo I found on Steam. It looks like a almost dating-esque sim but with wrestling and I'm really excited to check it out. Let's check out Wrestling with Emotions. Okay, we're at the loading screen of Wrestling with Emotions um, and I'm really excited to check this out. I really like the art style already. It's very vibrant, it's very fun. So let's just get right into it. Hi. We're Team Laserbeam, and this is the demo of our upcoming pro wrestler cuddling sim. Oh, so it's a pro wrestler cuddling sim. Got it. Wrestling with emotions. What you're about to play is a remix of selected bits of the full game. We hope it'll give you a nice taste of what you can expect from wrestling with emotions and that you'll have a ton of fun playing it. Our game is set in an alternate history, 1994. So with that in mind, to kick things off, please put your paws together for the one, the only, demo dog. There's a demo dog. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. A muscular dog in a seafoam singlet bounds up to you. Yo, yo, yo! This is already incredibly strange and I love it. They start bouncing up and down, dancing robotically as they break into a rap. Demo dog! Demo dog! That's my name! Demo wrestling is my game! <laughs> I may be small, I may be happy, but I'm here to keep this demo snappy! <laughs> when this pep pop when this pup pops up that's what you'll do what you'll know i'm not as you can tell i'm not meant to be a rapper when this pup pops up that's when you'll know we got a little something out of the show please don't fret and please don't buzz my demo hits harder than a runaway bus the canine freezes in a dramatic pose uh any questions um why are you rapping it's 1994 and I'm a corporate mascot for a youth culture brand. How can I not rap? Okay, time to get this party started. Let's go. Interesting. Okay. Every great story starts somewhere. Some start with violence, bloodlust, battered faces, or broken bones. Some stories start with chance encounters, butterflies and bellies, or bolts of electricity arching between perfect strangers. But your story doesn't start with a brutal brawl or love at first sight. Your story starts quite plainly with a few words on a screen. And it starts like... Damn. I'm glad I moved my face for these nips. These juicy nips. Are you a meaty muscle babe? I like to think so. Do you feel you're bound for greatness? Are you ready to find your perfect match? Well then, maybe you could become the next superstar of wrestling with emotions. For 50 years, I wanna give them voices. For 50 years, wrestling with emotions has been the home of the hottest sports entertainment. From legends like Sexy Legs McGee and Major Malfunction to modern big cats like Matt Surrey and Irresistible Steve, the league has been home to the most heart stopping beefcakes this sport has ever known. Now we're on the hunt to find the face of the future. Submissions are now open for the 1994 group of little kittens. Grab the latest issue of Strong Cuddles Magazine today to get your ticket to stardom. Complete a submission form, send it to us, and we might be calling you to join Wrestling With Emotions. <laughs> Keep watching TV. Now, today's wrestling news. Outburst continues her rampage. Irresistible Steve challenges King Pretty Guy to a beauty contest. Oh, look at King Pretty Guy. He's very pretty. Senior murder still missing. Oh, I just noticed this singular nip nop ring. Okay, interesting. Senior murder still missing. A series squashes rumors about returning to music. And coming up later. Freak Show voted world's most lovable Mia in. 
Radical Ray and arms ready for rematch. Oh damn, look at how rad he looks. Look at these juicy nips. They made, they really put a lot of time and care into that. <laughs> it's just like my eyes are drawn. <laughs> MC Manny McMahon unveils new plan. All this and more coming up right here on today's Wrestle Report. Damn, I better get down to the store to get that magazine. Keep watching TV. Let's go. You grab the magazine and lay it out on your desk. Damn, look at these stars. Who's next? The changing face of pro wrestling. Uh, inside your ticket to wrestling with emotion. Strong cuddles. Love that. You can't contain your excitement for what lies within these pages. Wrestling with emotions. Would be such a dream if this worked out. Okay, let me fill this thing in. Oh, damn. Okay. Do you dream of joining the greatest emotional hardcore wrestling promotion in the world? Sure. This is your chance to make that dream come true and join Wrestling With Emotions. Complete this form to apply. First, write down your name. The form starts out simply enough. First, you write down your name. Your name. Wow. Great, give us some extra details. Age. Uh, then you set to work completing the rest of the questions. Your age? Fresher then. Older than. Fresher than. Fresher than. Hot pancakes. Wait. Wait. Heavier than. A truck. I like this metric of measuring things, quite honestly. I'm not going to lie to you about that. Hometown. Capiadelphia, Sass City, Dorksville, New Pupstad, Dorksville. No, Sass City. Oh, look at the little, okay. Describe yourself. A badass bruiser, a crazy cat, a handsome hunk. I'd say I'm a, I'm a, I'm a crazy cat that with a passion for funky pants. Emphasis on the crazy. Okay, what's next? Who would you punch in the face? Oh, okay. Who would I punch in the face? Great question. Who looks the most punchable? Ooh. I don't know. King Pretty Guy reminds me of Katy Perry in her heyday. I don't want to punch the mutant because, like, they even said, like, Freak Show is the most punchable, not punchable, most lovable mutant. He has it hard enough. He's a mutant. Look at his skin falling off. Um, who would you punch in the face? Ooh, who do I want to go for? This is the hardest choice of all. What do I choose? I like the faces they make. Oh, let's do Irresistible Steve with the one nip nop ring. <gasps> Minus one like, you pick Irresistible Steve as your least favorite superstar. Oh. Okay, what's next? Honestly, it bothers me. Have, have two or none. God, I'm not here to judge you. I, you know, what does my opinion really matter? But if we're talking about my wrestling cuddling choices, I don't want this. Select your favorite character. Oh, who's my favorite? Who's my favorite? Who's my favorite? He kind of reminds me of Hulk Hogan and I dig it. Like, not in that way, though. I don't think of Hulk Hogan as a sexy man, but I like the vibes of Hulk Hogan. Okay, I'll just stop. King Pretty Guy. We'll go with... None of them are sexy to me, but we'll go with Katy Perry Pretty Guy. Plus one like. You pick King Pretty Guy as your dream partner. What's your favorite way to rough up your opponents? 
What's your favorite wrestling style? Grabbies, uppies. <laughs> Throws, strikes, uppies. Your favorite wrestling style is uppies. Tell us more. I just love jumping off high places, soaring through the air, and crashing into people. Who would write your dream entrance song? Fridge Poetry, Dope St. Jude, Drift Prism, Videogenic. Fridge Poetry. Dream Finisher? Your dream entrance song would be performed by Fridge Poetry. What is your dream finisher? Tur tubular Reed Naked Choke. S what? Oh, these are the moves I can do. But Butt Destroyer. I'm sorry, I don't really need to read any of them if one of them is called Butt Destroyer. Wait, but there is Tubular Red Naked Choke. Snow Cone Stunner. No, Butt Destroyer, 100%. Pronouns? What are your pronouns? She, her, baby. Vibe? How would you describe yourself or what's your vibe? Bodacious nervous that's actually factually true of me um open easygoing steadfast bodacious <laughs> bodacious i think i'm pretty bodacious yeah confidence that's that let me get this sucker mailed out <sighs> little kittens you cut out your application stick it in an envelope and race out to mail it off here goes nothing That night, you climb into bed with your mind racing. The idea of possibly joining your favorite wrestling promotion leaves you giddy. Oh, my little camper! The days seem to drag by as you wait for a reply from wrestling with emotions. And then one day, the fateful letter lands up on your desk. Freeze up! No, open it! You rip the envelope open, pull out the letter and unfold a little piece of paper that will change the course of your whole life. Dear Your Name, on behalf of MC Manny McMahon and the whole Wrestling With Emotions family, we are most pleased to inform you of your successful application to our Little Kittens training program. Over the next three years, you will have the opportunity to train at Sweat City. Should you survive the training process, we will be happy to welcome you to join our roster of wrestlers as a little kitten. Please note that your performance as a student will be regularly reviewed. If you fail to impress, you will be asked to leave the little kittens program. I don't know why I imagine that's how they talk. To complete your application, please sign the attached indemnity form. We'd also like to know a little more about what the kind of wrestler you'd like to become. Please, put together your dream look and persona. Oh, hell yeah. Then, drop by the Wrestling With Emotions office to meet your new boss, Manny McMahon, and your new coach, Major Malfunction. We look forward to welcoming you to the Little Kittens class of 1994. Congratulations and don't stop believing. Wrestling With Emotions. Scream, jump, cry, jump! You jump up, fist pounding in the air. Wrestling, wrestling, wrestling! After a few moments, you gather yourself. I can't believe it! I better start putting my look together. Oh, hell yeah. Or maybe I should relax and watch a little TV. Or make a snack. Or take a nap. No, let's, let's get our look together. You can't wait to get your look together and bolt straight for the mirror. Oh, I'm gorgeous already. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I love it. I wanna, yes, I love this. Make me like e-girl wrestling form, please. Oh, look at these sick shades. Oh. 
Madam Kawaii. Cute. Madam Kawaii cute. Love it. Human. Mom. Dad. Dude. Wolf. I can have a wolf persona. Bike. Oh, a biker. Damn. Punk. Babe. We're gonna go with babe. I'm gonna be the hottest babe on the block, as you can tell. Madam Kawaii cute babe, eh? Is this look going to make me a superstar? Hell yeah. Perfect. Let's go to that meeting. You got this. Time to introduce the world to Madam Kawaii cute babe. Oh yeah. I almost forgot to pick my best asset. My best asset is l nips. See, they knew what they were doing with these character designs. Look out, lovers. Here come the lovely nips of Madam Kawaii Cute Babe. Time to take that photo and send it through to Manny. Then it's off to that meeting with him. Interesting. Okay. Time to meet MC Manny McMahon. You enter the reception area for the office of MC Manny McMahon Jr. Jr. How is this even happening? So many years of hard work and I finally made it, wrestling with emotions. You approach the front desk. A large luchador in a pink power suit stands to greet you. Welcome, you must be Madam Kawaii Cute Babe. I love, I love him. Demo Dog said you'd be by, so I'll keep this brief. You're about to meet the most important figure in the world of professional wrestling. Mind your manners and show Mr. McMahon the respect he deserves. Uh, they size you up threateningly. Step out of line and you'll have to answer to me. They slowly pound a gloved fist into the palm of their hand. Okay. You can go right in. Dazed, you step up to the door. Behind that door is the biggest player in the wrestling world and... And I'm about to become one of their employees? Is this real life? Feel anxious. You stare at the door frozen by a cocktail of overwhelming emotions. The person on the other side of this door will script every step of my journey through this league. How much freedom will I really have? Will I get to become the wrestler I dream of being? A tag team champ? A legend? Or will Manny have me lose match after match endlessly squashed by his superstars? You contemplate your future, how everything's about to change, how life is about to be reduced to choosing between a limited handful of options. Knock. Who knows what could be going on in there? I should announce myself. You rap politely on the door, as if by magic it opens on its own accord, and you enter the office of your new boss. Damn! You step into a small room overlooking the WWE training gym, Sweat City. Posters, trophies, action figures, photos, newspaper clippings, and life-size cutouts are crammed into the small room, a shrine to 50 years of muscle-bound glory. So, this is Manny's office. I kind of expected he'd be in it. Troubled by Manny's absence, you look around the room for some distraction. Look at the posters, check out the cutouts, investigate the giant photograph. Uh, let's look at the cutouts. Dotted around the office, Manny has a collection of his biggest superstars as life-size cutouts. Cool. What should I check out? King Pretty Guy. That's my homie. Look at those pecs of steel! Oh my god. You approach the cardboard King Pretty Guy. So realistic. They're so dreamy. Honestly, could they be any hotter? You run your eyes up and down the realistic cutout, ogling every inch of King Pretty Guy's glistening body. Just looking at that fabulous wrestler gets your heart racing. The cardboard King Pretty Guy glares at you invitingly. Hug them, kiss them, punch them. A little hug. Even in cardboard form, King Pretty Guy is irresistible. You wrap your arms around the cutout, pulling it tightly towards your chest. It seems impossible, but you swear you can feel a faint heartbeat. Maybe it's just your own heart thumping in your chest. You hold the bootleg King Pretty Guy in your arms, savoring the moment. Oh no! 
Without warning, Manny's desk explodes in a shower of sparks and splintered wood. MC Manny McMahon Jr. Jr. bursts out of the debris, leaping onto the shattered remains of his desk. What the puck? Welcome, kid! I'm MC Manny McMahon Jr. Jr. I know I didn't need to tell you that, but I did anyway. I also probably didn't need to blow up my desk just to tell you I love theatrics, but I still did that too. I do it for every new recruit. Really drive the message home. I live to put on the most explosive show possible. So tell me, Madam Kawaii Cute Babe, are you ready to explode? Um... I've never been more... I've never been more ready to explode all over the place! Oh yeah! That's what I'm talking about! Welcome to the Wrestling With Emotions family! You picked one hell of a day to make your debut! Tonight's gonna be huge! The 1994 edition of Cuddle Mania! For a major event like this, you obviously won't set foot in the ring. But just being there will be exciting, right? The lineup's absolutely stacked! There will be steamy matchups with all our hottest superstars. Manny gestures towards a poster showcasing his eight superstars. You stare at the perfect faces, awed by the majestic A-team of wrestlers. Manny notices your interest. No, don't go getting in ideas. These dreamboats are totally out of your league. That's so rude. I have juicy nips though, just like them, so... Until I say you're ready, you're forbidden from even looking at him. Understood? You want to protest, but instead find yourself nodding obediently. Great, I love a wrestler who knows their place. Well, I'm sure you have a lot of settling in to do. Next up is meeting your new coach, Major Malfunction. Your heart skips a beat. Major Malfunction? The Major doesn't stand for tardiness, so you best not leave them waiting. Manny out. You step into Sweat City, the league's legendary wrestling school. Everyone from the Obliterator to Sexy Legs McGee trained in this ring. The room smells like wood, canvas, and 30 years of sweaty leotards. A few low-level fighters are scattered around the gym, pumping weights or chatting casually. Then you see them. Like something out of a dream, Major Malfunction crosses the ring towards you. They hang their body over the top rope, sunglass sunglasses shifting down their nose as their eyes meet yours. Is this real life? Am I going to be trained by my childhood hero? For a moment, you just gaze into the eyes of the wrestling legend, struggling to believe that this is actually happening. And then, quite suddenly, the screaming begins. Who the hell do you think you're looking at, right? You left me waiting for 84 seconds, and I do not like to be left waiting. Get your buns in this ring before I rip your arms off like an unloved action figure. Sir, yes, sir. Sir, yes, sir. You throw your Jill Sergeant a respect salute before joining them in the ring. Very nice, Raku. You're off to a good start. Okay, time to see what you got. The Major leaves the ring. Oh. Then returns to place a six-foot rubber muscle man in front of you. Say hello. Say hello to Kiniku, a new training partner. You gaze into Kiniku's unblinking eyes. Perfect hair and bulging biceps, he has been beautifully sculpted, but looks like he's seen a lot of abuse over the years. Okay, the two of you are gonna put on a show for me and your fellow grunts. Major gestures to the motley crew of rookie wrestlers scattered around Sweat City. They don't look very interested, but maybe you can grab their attention. I'm gonna rate your meat, so give it all, give it your all. First dazzle the crowd with a stylish entrance. Elegance. Jump into the ring, showing off your nips. You hop into the ring, then launch yourself back in, off, and... Wait, what? You hop out of the... You hop out the ring, then launch yourself back in, off the top rope. You wave at the small crowd of onlookers, then look to Kiniku, running your hands over your nips seductively. Okay. You hear some approving cheers from the small crowd. Not bad. Don't be afraid to bring some pizzazz to the ring. Everyone loves a wrestler with some elegance. Next, let's test your performance. Take a headbutt from Kiniku. Uh, bash your head into Kiniku's face. Shove the dummy. Uh, the theatrics. You charge towards Kiniku, shoving him violently. 
The weighted dummy lurches backwards and springs up towards you. You position your face so Kiniku heads butts you as they bounce back. You recoil from the blow, grab your face and stagger about the ring dramatically. Now that's how you take a headbutt. You got some good theatrics, Madam Kawaii, cute babe. Next, I'd like to see how strong you are. Take him down with a powerful body slam. Body slam your rubber opponent. Muscle. Manhandle the heck out of Kiniku. Focusing your power, every muscle in your body hardens. You charge into Kiniku. Drive your right shoulder into their chest and hoist them into the air before slamming them down. The stage rattles with the force of the attack. The crowd cheers and the major raises their bushy eyebrows approvingly. Very nice, Madam Kawhi, cute babe. Glad to see you got some muscle. One last test. Seal the deal with some sass. Pin that stand-in Sally. Finish him off with the tune. You pause for a moment, gathering yourself before you descend onto Kinahu, slamming your boots into his springy face. Your opponent suitably dazes. You climb onto him, kneeling on his shoulders. One! With Kiniku pinned under your knees, you throw your hands into the air. Two! In the final moment, you roll your raised fist into the pair of horns. The crowd cheers. Three! For an instant, lying between your legs, it feels like Kiniku's expression softens. A look of admiration in his eyes. Hey, Kiniku! Raised, uh, raising to your feet, you turn to face the major, who smiles approvingly. Great, kid. Don't get cocky. After assessing your abilities, I have good and bad news. Major hands you your results to your test. The good news? You've got me! <laughs> Muscle, elegance, attitude, theatrics. The bad news? Your rating on all fronts is one. You got a lot of work to do. They hand you another sheet of paper. A map of Cuddletown. Okay. Cuddle Town offers a variety of training spaces where you can improve your meat. You've only got time for two training sessions before tonight's big batch. Now get out there and make it count. Major malfunction stomps off, leaving you to decide where to spend your first training session. Damn, I better level up my meat. Where should I start? Okay, so we got, oh, Hot Shop. That sounds pretty good for what, I, what my character is. Thrashers and Cuddle Dome. Let's go to Hot Shop. You awkwardly poke your head into Hot Shop, the most banging salon in town. Um, I didn't care if I belong in here. You honestly don't even know where to start with this place. Hi! A delightful luchador waves at you. Don't tell me. You're here to get hot. No. Gorge. No. Sickening. You're here to get sickening, right? Well, you picked the perfect spot. You try to get a word in, but sequence is like a runaway train of enthusiasm. You're new, yeah? A little kitten? Look, I know they tell you kids, you just need to blend in while you're training. But I say, you're a wrestler. You're born to stand out. No. You're born to shine. And we're gonna help you do that. Miss Dress looks down at your hands. Good hands, the perfect canvas. Let's get you set up on some art. Sequence excitedly shows you to a nail station. We have all kinds of nail polish, jewelry, and accessories. Normally, I'd save the really good stuff for people who've proved their elegance, but Demo Dog said I should let the new kid go wild. So we're pulling out all the stops. Ooh. Ooh. This one will match my beret, I think, but oh, let's go with purple. Purple. Ooh, we could do glittery. Ooh. Oh, I want I want little claws. Hell yeah, look at those mitts. You admire your hands and prepare to leave. Your hands look amazing, Madam Kawaii Cute Babe. Keep this up and you're sure to gain more elegance. On your way out, you walk straight into Radical Ray. The radster looks down at you casually. Oh no, not this dingus. Can't tell their deal, but I'm into it. Who was Radical? 
Who is this? I uh, can't can't tell their deal, but I'm into it. You can't believe you're running to the radical one. Come on, Madam Kawaii Cute Babe. Be cool. Oops, my bad. Sorry, new dude. It's Madam Kawaii Cute Babe, not new dude. Uh, no problemo. Plus one feelings! Cool. Nice to meet ya, Madam Kawaii Cute Babe. I'm Radical Radical Ray. Um... Cool meeting you too. Oh shit, okay. Look at my sauce, look at my riz. Um, well I've got a date with a half pipe. You seem like a cool cat, we should kick it sometime. Later, Madam Kawaii Cute Babinator. Oh, Babinator? Did that really just happen? You feel dazed by the brush with one of his the league's biggest names. Okay, one training session left, where should I go? Go to Thrashers. You hear Thrashers before you see it. Emanating a constant drone of distorted bass, the coolest club in Cuddletown calls for you from blocks away. You approach it with a cocktail of excitement and terror burning in the pit of your stomach. Not feeling even remotely cool enough for the place, you quietly make your way into Thrasher. What you find inside blows your mind. Formerly some kind of industrial warehouse, this space was transformed into something that's equal parts skate park, live venue, clubhouse, and art studio. With every inch of its walls lovingly blanketed in spray paint, scribbles, and stickers, Thrashers is a graffiti-drenched bastion of crea creativity. So cool! A large stage stands as the altar in the center of the church surrounded by the collection of ramps and bulls that the skaters dance between. So I know I'm here to pump up my attitude, but where do I start? A pink-haired punk seems to notice you looking lost and skates towards you. As cool and weird as this warehouse you're standing in, the stranger stares at you through her visor. Ugh, she can see I don't belong here. You're just about ready to run away when the thrasher opens her mouth. Hi! Oh damn, she seems nice! You okay? New here? Uh, can I get help? Can I help getting you settled in? A wave of relief washes over you. You Madam Kawaii cute babe. Demo dog said you'd drop by. I'm Kim. Kim Bonito. Uh, you run this place? Kim looks uncomfortable with this question. Everyone here is free to do as they please, but a few of us have taken to looking out for the space and its guests. We're not big on authority here, but I guess you could call me the matriarch of this glorious chaos. I book the bands, help put on art shows, get behind the bar from time to time, and in moments like this, welcome new folks like you. So welcome. Kim throws an arm over your shoulder and leads you into the warehouse, pointing out the attractions. This is where you can grab a board, and this is where you can fall from a board while trying to do tricks. Bands play here, gets kind of rough sometimes, but we make sure people stay safe, and tough guys, mosh bullies, get sent packing. I'm in the middle of listening through some demos for bands that want to play here. Kim notices your eyes light up as she mentions band hunting. You're into music, yeah? Want to help me out and listen to some tapes? It's a good way to pump up your attitude. And if you want to make it as a wrestler in 1994, you're definitely going to need some major tood. The pink-haired band hunter grabs an orange milk crate, scratches around for a minute, and hands you three envelopes. Here you go. Butts, sad sacks, and lil rays. The sounds of the future. Listen to their tapes and write down what you think of each band. Let me know what you think after you've had a listen. What? Photo, tape, bio. Rejoice music fans, it's time for butts. Armed with two guitars, a drum machine, and a deep love for 70s power pop classics, butts are the sonic sensation sweeping the nation. On their, la their latest release, the Mr. Beans EP, the butts continue to show why they're one of the most hyped new bands of 1994. Can I, like, interact with anything? Okay. Hmm, the butts sound pretty nice. Uh, cool, crappy, cute. Cool. Damn, this sounds pretty rad. 
I wish I could write more about butts, but who has the time these days? Oh, in my feels, MCR era, here we are. Sad sack demo. Line up Butcher Guitar, Mortitude, Bass and Synth, Voido, Voido, Drums, Bio. We're all really sad. What more do you need to know? Origin, Gloomsill. So this is Sad Sax. Weird, boring, bogus. I'll go with weird. This is totally weird, but in a good way. Okay, let's look at the next band. The Little Rays. Aliens! Hometown, Bunnysboro, genre, positive hardcore. Members, Sir Edmund Metaduke, Roly Tapoli, Diamond Dude 9000. Fresh from the streets of Bunnysboro come the genre-defying Little Rays. Hot as a fresh slice of pizza and cool as Kim Deal. This band is here to make your heart sore. Little Rays, huh? They make me feel hyped up. This gets me so stoked. I just want to bounce her out of this song. Okay, I think we're done here. You all done? Let me take a look at what you thought. First up, butts. So you thought they were cool? They're cool for sure. But the thing that really got me was the cuteness. Think I'm gonna book them. Next up, we got Sad Sacks. So you thought they were weird? Same, but in the best way, right? Such creepy vibes. Think I may book them. Last, we had Little Royals. You said they made you feel hyped up. They got me fired up too. Seems like they'd be heaps of fun live. I should book them, yeah? Well, thanks for all the help, Madam Kawaii Cute Babe. Radical. Would you be keen to listen to some more new bands sometime? Yeah, this was fun. Radical, swing by whenever you're free. We got loads of stuff to check out. Later, Madam Kawaii Cute Babinator. You turn to leave, but... Oh, damn. You find yourself face to face with the wonder that is Outburst. She looks at you as if she can see all the good and all the bad in your soul. Wow, she's everything. She's delightfully intriguing. State your case, newcomer. Who are you? Uh, do a backflip hoppy... Hoppy... You attempt a backflip, but realize halfway that you can't actually do a backflip. You fall on your butt. Oh, shoot. Please don't judge me on that. I'm Madam Kawaii Cute, babe. Nice to meet you. <laughs> We've all been there. Nice to meet you, Madam Kawaii Cute, babe. Outburst flashes you a tender yet intimidating smile. Meeting you was the highlight of my day. Well, this is sufficiently awkward. Get out of the way. This is sufficiently awkward. Pleasure to meet you. Until next time, Ka Madam Kawaii Cute, babe. It's getting late. Cuddle dome time. My nemesis. You slowly approach the huge circular building, your heart pounding with anticipation. The colossal wrestling cathedral looms larger and larger with every step as you stare up at it in awe. Can't believe I'm here. The cuddle dome. I can't wait to see Radical Ray in action. A kaleidoscope of butterflies flutter about in your belly. Seeing the bodacious badass's tan body in the ring is going to be magical. If they hit a funky face buster, I'm going to lose my mind. You continue towards the arena, daydreaming about the radical one, but you're suddenly snapped back into reality as you find yourself face to face with another forbidden dreamboat. <laughs> you bump into a goopy green figure. Does he have three nipples? And he has a second face! Okay. Uh, who is this adorable weirdo? OMB Free Show! Cute cutie! The two of you engage in an awkward dance, mirroring one another's attempts to move out of the way. Ha ha ha! After you, my fellow fighter! They gesture for you to walk by. Um. Thanks, I'm Babe. Good meeting you. The name is Madam Kawaii Cute Babe. It's so cool running into you. Well, I better let you go back to your day. Uh, this was so sweet meeting you. This place is gonna be a little more awesome with you around. Bork you later, Madam Kawaii Cute Babinator. Damn, okay. You try to catch your breath as you watch the superstar leave. Whew. I'm gonna be in real hot water if Manny catches wind of any of these encounters. You shake off your concern and head into the legendary arena. 
You sheepishly take your first steps into the Cuddle Dome locker room. Uh, um, oblivious to the pungent scent of sweat and spandex, you're filled with a sense of wonder. Okay, Madam Kawaii Cute Babe, be cool. You barely have a moment to gather yourself before a familiar face slides into view. Ah, new kid! Ready to work your first show? Little kittens like you are responsible for maintaining order outside the ring. Outburst throwing people into barriers? You gotta keep them together. Matsuri lashing herself off ring posts? You better make sure she doesn't crash into an audience member. It's pretty damn simple. Just remember your place and don't step out of line. Tell me you understand. Stay out of sight, hold things together, got it? Suplex anyone that gets close to me. Stay out of sight. The Major nods approvingly. One last thing. We can't have you distracting folks with your nips on the show. The Major produces a black tracksuit. A pair of white stripes running along the side of the pants, an adorable kitten embroidered on the chest of the jacket. Here's your official little kitten ring gear. Awesome, thanks. That's the spare. Okay, rookie, good luck. I don't need to tell you what a big deal Cuddle Kingdom is. Don't puck this up. Your blood runs cold as the gravity of this moment sinks in. If all goes well, you can look forward to a good year of work on the ringside. If you survive that, maybe someday you'll graduate to throwing rookies around yourself. The Major heads out, leaving you with your thoughts. Um, you take a seat and start lacing up your boots, your whole body buzzing with anticipation. Cuddle Kingdom? The biggest night on the wrestling calendar? This is so cool! You can feel your heart swelling with pride. You've made it. Uh, you try to avoid eye contact with any of the half-dressed wrestlers oiling up their meaty bodies, but despite your best efforts, you can't help but lock eyes with a certain dreamboat. You bump whiskers with a cute cat wrestler. Her lively eyes lock in with yours. Your knees get wobbly. Um, whoa, she's cool. Wow, she's just too cool. Sheesh, be careful. Oops, uh, I'm Madam Kawaii Cute Babe. It's an honor meeting you. Hmm, Madam Kawaii Cute Babe? Okay. Matsuri looks towards you, but you can tell she's somewhere else. So, great meeting you. Hope to see you around. Well, I'll let you keep gawking around. Later, Madam Kawaii Cute Babe. You, uh, you barely caught your breath from the latest brush with greatness before a furious scream booms through the locker room. What is this? Uh, Secret Secretary's pink power suit strains as every inch of their muscular body swells with rage. The lockers around you rattle as a world-shattering scream blasts out of Secret's featureless face. Prohibited! And a pink blur, the, the secretary's huge body flies in your direction, swinging a stiff arm into your chest. The devastating lariat lifts you clean off of your feet and sends you crashing down onto the concrete floor. Secret sinks a large salmon boot into the center of your chest, pinning you to the ground. Big mistake, little kitten. You know you're not supposed to be fraternizing with your superiors. Manny will not be pleased when he hears about this. They raise their foot from your chest and clap away as you gasp for air. Oh, by the way, you're supposed to be ringside. Show's about to kick off. You get to your feet gasping for breath as you dust yourself off. But as you limp towards the exit, a warm tanned hand rests on your shoulder. Oh, hey, Buster. Uh, his signature broad smile hits you like a ton of bricks. Word up, babe. Hi. Even under the unflattering fluorescent lights of the locker room, Radical Ray's smug face is a vision of beauty. Gazing at that perfect face has you blushing, but nothing can prepare you for the words that come out of his thin mouth next. Wanna roll with me tonight? Like, for my match? What the? The unexpected request leaves you scrambling for the right words. You want me as your valet? You wanna be my charge? Need an enforcer? You want me as your valet? Ray throws you a broad smile. Having a babe like you by my side would make me look pretty cool. I feel like I can't say no. Yes! A 9,000 times yes! Radical Ray's broad smile burns a hole through your heart. Totally righteous. 
You know you shouldn't be doing this. You know this might lead to another smackdown from Secret Secretary, or even worse, from Manny. But you can't turn Radical Ray down. Uh, taking you by the hand, they lead you out of the locker room. I'm gonna get smacked down again. Your heart rate quickens with each step you take through the darkness of the passage, connecting the locker room to the arena. Overhead, you hear the rumble of a golden voice gorilla ring out over the arena. Welcome, fight fans! This is the Cuddle Dome, home of the most explosive show in sports entertainment, wrestling with emotions! I'm your host, the most handsome man in television, Blubby the Brains. And I'm Gorilla Baboon. You're tuned in to one of the hottest nights of the wrestling calendar. This is Cuddle Mania! <laughs> to kick things off, here's the one and only MC Manny McMahon. Mutants and Ladymen, welcome to the hottest show in town. Wrestling with emotions! Prepare to witness the most unpredictable fight of your life. Manny's muffled voice calls you towards the arena. Radical Ray's warm, large palm wraps around your hand, leading the way through the darkness. The rumble of the crowd grows louder and louder as you head towards the light. As you step into the arena, it feels like your heart stops. Like everything is frozen in this one perfect moment. The Cuddle Dome is radiant, glowing beneath a wash of hot pink lights as dazzling blue laser beams crisscross over the ring. As your companion's energizing theme song soars through the air, the crowd chants his name. Throwing you a broad, broad smile, they give your hand a tug, snapping you back into motion. Cyan lasers dance above you. The crowd sounds like stormy ocean waves crashing on the shore. Bolts of electricity run from the bodacious badass, uh, badass's hand up your arm to the top of your head. You feel like you're floating. Uh, show your emotions. Slay the runway. Slay! You run your hands over your nips, activate babe mode, and strut towards the ring. Radical Ray, mirroring your intensity of your seductive entrance, sashays down the runway, sending the crowd into a frenzy. Radical Ray's here! And it looks like he brought a hot date along. Bam! That rookie looks hot like pizza supper. Smart move by Radical Ray. Nothing can inspire someone quite like a beautiful face cheering them on. Introducing our first fighter. It's Ray O'Clock. Hailing from Menace Beach at an age of eternal, weighing to maximum allowed. Radical Ray. Break it down. Radical Ray settles into his corner of the ring and offers you a confident thumbs up. Stand powerfully, lean seductively, make some noise, be an ninja. Make some noise! You casually perch on a ringside railing and start hollering loudly. Woo! Let's go, Radical Ray! Bust some buns! For a little kitten, that new kid sure makes a lot of noise. And introducing his opponent, the lights dim and an, un and an expectant hush falls over the arena. Here we go, folks. Steve's jazzy theme song fills the air. The crowd erupts. Sounds like we've got a lot of coyotes in the house tonight. The captivating Casanova steps into the arena as his howling coyotes scream. I don't know if I've ever seen so many rope necklaces out on the stands. With this kind of support, Steve sure to crash Radical Ray. Shut your lie hole, Blobby. Manny's announcing steve -azoid. Put your butt together for one of our biggest superstars. This is my arch nemesis, I have decided. Bump in. Hailing from Huntsville at an age of perfect, weighing a proper amount. Steve! Turn up. Steve moonwalks his way down to the ring. He winks, makes kisses, and flexes his impressive muscles as the crowd goes berserk. Steve strikes a pose, does one push-up, and stares bewitchingly into your eyes. You admire his confidence and are curious about his charm. You contemplate how to respond. Time to send this boob a message. Oh, shit. Turn up the sass. You roll your eyes at the approach. Whatever. 
Is that babe a tree? She just threw Steve some serious shade. Your disrespectful sassing sends Steve's into a blind rage. The furious superstar launches his tantalizing body into the ring and snatches the mic out of Manny's hand. His seductive eyes grow wide as they start ripping into you and Radical Ray. Oh, hey, sucker! Sneaky suckers, I see you! Steve's coyotes laugh and cheer as the cheesy chap starts climbing a ringside post. They look down at you with bloodlust in his seductive eyes. Now for some head. Whoa. Steve flexes an arm and kisses his bicep. Uh-oh. Here comes the killer Concord. Rest in peace, Madam Kawaii Cute Babe. They launch their glistening body into the air and hit you with a devastating killer Concord. His tantalizing frame smashes into you, knocking you clean off of your feet and sending your crashing into a heap of pure agony. The assault leaves you flat on your back, looking up at the light of the cuddle dome. Your ears ringing, you suddenly very much regret your life choices. You're ready to throw in the towel and disappear into a black hole of unconsciousness. You're about to fall into the void. But a drawling voice brings you back as you're hoisted back onto your feet. This would be a most unrighteous time for a power nap. You aren't just gonna take that kind of abuse, are you? What are you gonna do? You draw a breath and weigh up your options. Oh, oh, oh shit, okay. Okay, I think that's quite enough for today. If you want more, get your grabbers on the full Wrestling with Emotions new kid on the block so you can pump that meat and take your wrestler from a ringside rookie to the center of your very own unique tale of bulging biceps, breaking rules, and melting hearts. Befriend, seduce, or enrage one of seven superstar dreamboats. Uh, decide who becomes your golden lover or red hot rival. Grapple, cuddle, and smash your way through an ar an anarchic adventure of choice-driven gameplay and carve your own path towards 1 of 16 emotionally explosive endings. Hell yeah! I loved this, actually. I didn't know what to expect, but I enjoyed it. Cool! Thanks heaps for checking out the demo of Wrestling With Emotions 2. Oh, I guess there's a first one that we could maybe check out. We hope you had an absolute blast with it. If you did, power bomb that wishlist button or share it with someone rad while well, I'm sharing it with you guys or send us screenshots of your wrestler and their cute nails. Thanks again. Stay awesome. Bye. All right, guys, that is going to be it for this demo of Wrestling With Emotions, New Kid on the Block. I actually really enjoyed it. I don't know if I necessarily had any expectations of what this game was going to be like, but honestly, I really did enjoy it. And I can't wait for the full release, honestly. I, I do wonder when that's going to be. So yeah, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe so you can always see my content. And thank you so much for joining me on this wrestling adventure. I'll see you guys later. Bye!